Okay, so today we're going to fix the tracker, which is going to consist mostly of pounding flat the damage to the square tube that got damaged and creating some uh, sleeves to go around the bolts inside the square tube to provide some additional support. Alright, so I have it pounded uh, partially back into shape a little bit between my makeshift anvil and uh, vice. And I'm going to use this little bit of contraption here to kind of push it out where it's kind of pressed, pushed in a little bit still. And uh, maybe with the hammers and wrenches a little bit, I can get it as straight as possible before I put uh, the sleeves in it and put it all back together. All right, well, it is not perfect, but it is a lot closer to straight. And it was, so I'm going to go on to the next step. All right, so I've got my newly sort of repaired uh, bar here, which is as straight as I could make it with the tools I have at hand. And I've got my much stronger grade 8 now bolts to replace the broken ones. And then the still hot... Um, sleeves I've created so that there'll be some <clears throat> some support on the inside of that square tube uh, to clamp down on. So I ground these down so they just barely fit into the end that it has not been damaged. So this is the end that's straight. So I, I sized them on this end so that when they get put into this end, this will be brought back to the, you know, to true, back to where it's supposed to be, even though I didn't get it quite straight and it won't get quite straight it will uh, be close enough I think so I'm gonna get this all put back together and with any luck get the tracker back online this afternoon all right I got these all pounded into place I don't know if you can see all three of them in there but there are three of these um, sleeves now and they're tight they're uh, they're they're fit in there pretty tight so they should uh, provide some support against the side walls here so that it it won't be as weak as it was before and with our grade 8 bolts uh, going in place we should not have that failure again or at least I hope we don't have that failure again so uh, let's get it put back together All right, there we go. We got three sleeves on the part that's attached to this uh, pivot here. And then we've got three sleeves on the part that broke off and it should be pretty solid. Everything's tightened down nice and tight and that should be stronger that way, I hope. And as it turns out, uh, that is where, uh, roughly where, the um, linear actuator was uh, when it failed. So now I'm thinking this is about where it was setting itself flat, about the angle it was setting itself flat at. Um, it wasn't getting quite flat. This was sort of common for it to sit at about that angle. So I think at this point now that it broke while it was set flat. So just the oscillation. Uh, must have been enough and I'm thinking that probably that was a cumulative thing where those bolts were uh, fatiguing and then um, Over time they eventually snapped. Unfortunately, I've got some much better much stronger non uh, Chinese made Grade 8 bolts in there now. Hopefully that will also help uh, Only thing left to do now is to put the power back to it and uh, make sure she still goes. All right, well, she's back together and uh, functional, so.
So that should be hopefully strong enough now so that that particular failure won't reoccur. Obviously there are some other issues with this thing and the whole thing's not very uh, robust. So I will uh, continue to uh, try to windproof the thing. And next step is probably uh, some kind of linear dampener to kind of squash that uh, oscillation when it's set flat in the wind. But that's it for now.